want to create eye-catching flat lay and model mockups and actually put your POD designs on them without Photoshop, I show you exactly how to do it with Ideogram. So here's the website of the AI art generator Ideogram and you already can see some creations from other users right here and you can filter by the different topics or you can search by a keyword with this magnifying glass right here that says search so let's type in mockup press enter and here we go now first we want to create a flat lay mockup and this is basically a mockup on a neutral background or a style setting just like this for example and later in this video we are going to create a model mockup that looks like this and at the end of the video i will show you a way where you can put your own designs on a model mockup and we'll do this completely in ideogram so let's scroll up again and for the first flat lay mockup let's use this very simple prompt that says flat lay mockup of a light blue t-shirt on a neutral background shirt fully visible no wrinkles professional studio lighting now here are the settings we got the generation on private then we can set the format well you basically can set it like you need it we got the portrait format right here or the landscape format but you can also enter your custom format let's just use the square format for this example then we can choose the model right here now for this example let's choose the 3.0 model and generate four images and we have the render speed on default right here now let's set the magic prompt to off the style we got it on auto and the color palette we just leave it on auto here's some more settings but we don't need that right now so let's click generate and see what you get and here we are it's generating right here 99 percent complete and here we go so to see your generations you just click one and here we go yeah it looks quite professional we got this one we got this one it's got a more brighter background and the last one looks also quite nice now let's try something we want to specify the type of t-shirt right here so let's add bella and canvas 3001 so that could be very handy if you have an etsy shop for example and you sell this specific t-shirt in your print on demand shop so let's hit generate right here and it's complete let's take a look and here we go looks quite good i would say well the last t-shirt is a bit more narrow than the t-shirt before so please write it down in the comments if this really is the bella on canvas t-shirt now let me give you some more great and simple prompts for a flat lay mock-up so here we have a prompt for minimalist style let's click generate and here we go we got the shadow right here i don't really like that let's see this one this one looks nice or this one or this one and if you want you could easily remove the background from these mockups right here next we got the echo aesthetic and we got this in the prompt surrounded by green eucalyptus leaves and cotton branches so let's hit generate and here we are yeah this looks quite nice that's a bit different right here yeah well of course it depends on the target audience which mock-up you would choose next we got the casual everyday look and as you can see it's always a very simple prompt and you can always stop the video and steal this prompt from me but i would always set the magic prompt to off for these prompts because i tested it with the magic prompt on and the results were are not good so let's hit generate right here and here we go generation complete yeah it's way different but they are quite nice we got the shoes right here and the jeans and let's check the last one yeah looks quite nice next we got the boutique wipe let's just generate it and here we go we got the straw hat right here and some dried flowers right here and the t-shirt is on this backdrop right here which looks quite nice this one is a bit brighter and we got this one and the last one got this knot right here in the t-shirt so for print on demand purposes i would either choose the first one or the second one and lastly we got the seasonal one one for the spring so let's hit generate and generation is complete let's take a look yeah i would say it looks like a spring t-shirt with these flowers right here let's take a look at the other ones yeah these are quite similar this one is a bit different i don't know what that is let's check the last one yeah this looks quite nice so now we want to create a model mock-up and that's basically a person that's wearing a shirt so for example this is a model mock-up or this one or this one so the best practice would be if you have someone from your target audience 
for this type of mockup. So let's first start with the classic studio look. Let's hit generate right here. And here we go. Yeah, it looks like this person is standing in the studio. Let's check the other ones. This one looks a bit more polished. Or this one. Or this one. Yeah, the backdrop is hanging right here. But you can see that the t-shirt is fully visible and that's just what we want. Next, we got the urban street style. And it's this prompt right here. And we generate it. And here we go. Yeah, the face is not fully visible. But I think that's not too bad. You can see that the shirt is fully visible. And that's the main point. And you can see that these people are all standing in the city. Or like in front of a building. This looks quite cool with this concrete wall right here. Next, we got the fashion catalog pose. So let's hit generate. And here we go. Here we got this person on a neutral background. Let's see this one. You can see the floor right here. And of course, it's a different person. And we got this one and this one. So next, we got some lifestyle vibes. And you got this prompt right here. Let's hit generate. And here we go. Well, that's a big t-shirt. This woman is sitting on a bench right here. And as you can see, the fingers are okay, so that's great. We got the next image right here. These are all a bit different. And we got the cover photo right here. It also looks quite nice. And by the way, I think all of these images are very convincing. So you can't really tell if this person is AI or not. Now let's get a bit more specific. So we got this prompt right here. And we specify the person itself. So we enter a cheerful elderly woman with gray hair smiling warmly. So let's hit generate. And here we go, yeah. That looks like a grandma, I would say. We got the third image right here. Yeah, she does look cheerful. And the last image right here. She's standing on a beach or something like that. Yeah, let's choose this one. So now we want to put our design on a mock-up. Now let me show you step by step how to do that. So what you do is you choose your image where you want to put your design on. So for this example we choose this one, the last generation. And we click this button that says open in canvas. So we click it and here we are, we are in ideogram canvas. So let's make this a bit bigger. On a Mac you just press and hold command and then you scroll with the mouse wheel. But it should be similar on Windows. And what we do now is we upload our design. Either we can click this button that says upload or we can just drag and drop the image right here. So let's just drag and drop the image. Yeah, it says drop your image to upload. And here we go, it's way too big. So let's call out. Now it's over our grandma. Yeah, here we go. Let's make this way smaller. Put it on the left. Zoom in a bit. Yeah, put it right here. Now I just click the canvas and we zoom in a bit more because that's just better for the resolution. Okay, now of course we could take our design and just put it like that, but that wouldn't be very convincing. So what we do now is we have ideogram, put this t-shirt design on this shirt. So it looks like this grandma is wearing this grandma Saurus shirt. So what we do now is we choose magic fill right here and we get the rectangle mask. Then we draw this rectangle over this shirt well, that's basically the printed area. Then you click next. And what we do now is we take these borders of the model mockup and drag them over this image over our design and make this a bit smaller right here so that it just covers our design and our rectangle right here. And also on the top right here like this and on the right yeah like this now we have to add something to the prompt well this is the prompt of the model mock-up now we add this part right here on the left a design is shown on a transparent background like this design on the right and we got our model mock-up prompt and basically you can use this part for any other model mock-ups where you want to put your designs on or even any mock-up where you want to put your own designs on. And then you click this button that says style and we upload our style reference. That's where we choose our design right here. So here we are, it's uploaded. And then we just hit magic fill and it's generating. And here we go. Yeah, that doesn't look like it, but let's click this image right here. Let's zoom in a bit right here. Nope, nope. And that's it. 
Grandmasaurus, yeah, that's it. Let's place it like that. So you can see the difference. Now let's have our face on. Yeah, okay. So as you can see, we got this design right here. That's basically really flat and just looks like a vector. And in comparison, we got this image right here. And when you take a closer look, actually let's zoom in a bit. You can really see the wrinkles right here from the shirt, which really follow these wrinkles from the shirt. And the colors are not that vibrant, if you know what I mean. And we got the wrinkles right here. And honestly, this mock-up looks really convincing. It just looks like a real shirt. And you can see it's also the same lighting as the model mock-up. Or let's say as this setting right here on the beach. And I would say this mock-up is yeah, just really convincing. And as you saw it, we just did it in seconds in Ideogram, which is really amazing. So to download this image, you just click this button right here that says download on the left. Just click it. We got the resolution right here and click download. And here we are. Now, if you want to know how I created this awesome Grandma Zaurus design, then check out this video right here.